Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Division Rivals and Foot Champions Rewards video. Pretty much in today's video, I'm going to be opening my rewards, seeing who we can get. We have actually got an okay team of the week this week. It's not the craziest, of course, but it is quite good. I am going to review that in a few minutes but if you are new to the channel please make sure to go ahead drop a like on today's video as always if we can hit 30 likes that'll be great thank you all so so much for the recent support it is much appreciated i did just go ahead and drop an spc review on this brand new james tavernier spc he looks unbelievable what a card he does have i probably will be going ahead and completing him so maybe i will bring a player of you very very soon i am super busy with work at the minute so that is why there is a lack of videos and i am missing the odd day here and there but if you are new make sure you go ahead hit the subscribe button turn notifications on you'll be notified every single time a video does go live and pretty much the target is 6.5k subscribers we're on the way there so if you are new, like I said, drop a sub, that'll be much appreciated. And the goal for the end of the year um, is 10k on YouTube. So if we can get there, it would be crazy. But thank you all so, so much for the recent support anyway. It really is much appreciated. But taking a look at this week's team of the week, I'm pretty much going to show you my squad in a minute. I have done quite a few of the 80 plus player picks. Actually, I only did two of them. And in the first one, I did manage to get PK. And in the second one, I managed to get myself a crazy headliner. So I'm going to show you my squad in a minute. But taking a look at team of the week 16, it's not a bad one at all. It ain't great. It could have been better, of course. Messi actually performed super well last week. So it was surprising not to see him in it. But I kind of thought it wouldn't get in any anyway because of team of the year I did put that on Instagram if you didn't see it already but we have got in this team of the week we've got Griezmann we've also got Voland, Depay, Hakimi, uh, Parejo, we've got Royce as well, Gaia, Hinteruga and then we've also got um, Danilo at right back which is a decent card we've also got Navas in net which is okay um, the bench is horrendous of course, but then we've got the man himself on the reserves that everybody is raving about of course. He's got 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, high medium work rates, 5 foot 8 and of course it is the man himself, Ryan Kent. He's got 73 finishing which is a little bit of a downfall but of course the card is still incredible with 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed as well. He's also got 99 agility which is exactly what you want from this type of card. So let me know down below if you have used used him is he any good is he as good as last year or not i would expect not but you never know if he does manage to pick up a couple more informs his next next inform that he does receive anyway will be incredible so if we could get that <clears throat> it really would be great but in terms of this team of the week i would say it ain't an amazing one this card definitely does look pretty decent to be fair though so let me know down below in terms of team of the week 16 what would you rate it out of 10 i'll probably say 7 out of 10, maybe even 6.5. Griezmann's a decent card, but even if I did get him, I probably wouldn't even use him anyway because he's a left wing, which ain't great. He's got 82 pace, which doesn't suit left wing. The fact that he's got 3-star weak foot as well is super poor. But the card that I would really say I want from this team of the week is Memphis Depay, potentially Gaia, but overall it's a pretty poor team of the week. So Depay, Gaia and Ryan Kent are probably the only three that I actually do want. If I did get a Griezmann, obviously I wouldn't complain, but we've got our rivals rewards and we've also got the foot champions. Let me know down below whether you are saving your packs for team of the year or not. Because obviously team of the year is round the corner. It kind of probably does make sense to save your packs for team of the year. But here we have got, of course, for division rivals, we've got, I can take 70k coins, two rare mega packs, one rare Electrum Players Pack and 375 Foot Champions Points. Or I could take four rare Megas, two rare Electrums and 375 Champion Points. I'm going to go ahead and take the untradeable option as always. I can take the 70 co 70k coins which would be super useful for like the James Tavernier SPC. And maybe if I did take the tradable ones it would be great as well. But for the video we're going to want more packs so I'm definitely going to go ahead and take the most packs possible so we've got four rare mega packs two rare electrums which is decent can't complain at that i'm going to quickly qualify for the weekend league when i can i need to redeem my rewards first and then i will qualify but let me know down below how were your rewards this week i hope you did manage to get lucky 
I'm sorry the video is coming out quite late. I have been at work all day and I've only just got home so I can only just open my rewards now. I get 30k coins, 2 mega packs, 1 rare player pack and of course I get 2 player picks of 1 of 3 players. So we do get gold free every week. I'm pretty sure I had over 10 games left but I just ended up leaving it. I really didn't have the energy to play. When you work all week and then you have to play that many games on the weekend it's so so hard. Especially with running the Instagram stuff like that. But I am going to try and play a few more games this weekend coming. I'm gonna see, to be honest, maybe I'll just get gold free. I'm not too sure yet, but we will see. Let me know, do you play on every weekend or do you simply just go to gold free every weekend? Let me know what you do do down below. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into the player picks here now. We've obviously got a lot of packs with headliners and an okay team of the week. So in the packs, it's gonna be way better than the player picks. So first one here, if we can get something nice, it would be great. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves as a Harvey, which ain't great. Uh, the keeper's awful. The right mid's pretty awful as well. Three-star skill moves instantly taking away a poor card. But we've got Zahavi. Awful card, but what's it? He's 84 rated, so we definitely will take him. And then into the second one, we do go ahead and get uh, Harriet, Belhanda, or... A new Achu, I think that's how you pronounce him, but pretty awful from rewards this week. We don't get a Ryan Kent, which is obviously what we wanted, and we didn't get him, but it is what it is. I'm not too bothered about it. I'm pretty sure he's only like 20 or K on the market, so red picks this week. Didn't really matter anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and take the 82 rated Bellhander simply because he is 82 rated. I'm going to go ahead and throw them into the club for now. I'm going to quickly check as well. How many cards I am now off um, completing a Foot Champions Premium Upgrade. I think I shouldn't be too far, but I'm going to quickly check anyway. In terms of red picks, let me know if you have actually done one of these. Who did you manage to get? Because I saved them up right at the beginning of the game. Went ahead and um, completed it, and I'm pretty sure I got absolutely shafted. I got, I got Edison, I think. So it ain't bad, but let me know down below. Would you be happy with an Edison or not? I've got quite a few reds, but I don't really want to get rid of a lot of them. Maybe Zahavi, but like Sushek, McTominay, Tierney, I think they're pretty decent. Same with Bamba. I could go ahead and throw them in and actually complete it, but I'd actually be one player off, I'm pretty sure, with Casemiro in the club. So I'm not going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to keep saving my players, and then hopefully... In a couple of weeks time, I will have a video coming out where I do do the Foot Champions Premium Upgrade. But let me know if you did do it. Uh, you, and you have done it this year so far. Who's the best player you've got from your Foot Champions upgrade so far? We're just going to go ahead and jump right into the packs now. Though We've got quite a few good packs for today's video. We've got obviously a 50k pack. We've got a couple of mega packs. Four rare mega packs. And we've got the rare Electrums as well. These ones are the untradeable ones of course from Rivals. So we're going to start off with the untradeable packs. Hopefully, though, we can get lucky today. Hopefully, we can get a couple walkouts, something decent. In the first one, we're not going to get a board. This is a rare Electrum Players pack. I'm not really expecting much from these, to be honest, so it ain't really an issue. We do manage to get James Rodriguez, a few decent cards. Obviously, it is Team of the Year, round the corner. <clears throat> so these cards will come in handy very, very soon. I'm going to open this one and then quickly show you my squad because I completely forgot. Uh, I did actually manage to get myself quite a huge um, headliner card in a pack, so I'm going to show you it. I did get it from the 80 plus player pick. I did actually post it in the community section. If you did see it, let me know. But in this pack here, we get an 84 and an 83, so I can't complain. I'm pretty sure both of these are actually untradeable. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them in now. Ruben Neves and Fernanda. So I can throw them into an 80 plus SBC, and then we can complete that quickly. I'm going to show you what these packs are really are all about they are crazy so let me know down below if you have completed any of them who have you managed to get so it's mario fernandez i'm pretty sure i've got duplicate and i can't even remember the other one already so mario fernandez i can't even remember who the other player was who was it uh mario fernandez i'm just gonna go ahead and throw him in quickly and i'm pretty sure i should have the right amount of players you only need two rares to actually do it i'm just literally gonna get any rare i can't even be bothered about the other guy who i did just get i'm just gonna Oh, that's who it is, I'm pretty sure it's never. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him in. They are the two rares. If I have actually got any normal golds, then I could just go ahead and throw them in. So gold commons, I do have a few. Um, I'm just going to throw these in. It is a lot easier. Obviously, as well, the thing is with these packs, they're actually not that expensive to complete. Like Usually when you complete these upgrades, they're super expensive. But for what they're paying out, 
they are definitely worth it. So let me know if you have completed any of them. Uh, who have you managed to get and do you actually think they're worth it or not? You only need two rares and the rest can actually be just common cards. So it's super easy. It really is. Very, very easy to complete. And obviously you could get lucky. You genuinely never know. I'm just going to go ahead and throw these in. Centre mid. I'm pretty sure he'll fit. And then we've obviously got a striker. I'm just going to throw Al Brighton in there. That's 30 chemistry. There we go. I'm going to open this straight away just to show you. Hopefully, I can get someone here that send them to the club. 80 plus player pick. Come on, EA. Let's get something nice. We're going to get a Neto. So, for the video, obviously, EA don't treat us. But I'm going to quickly show you now who I did manage to get from my um, my pack. I did actually get Upamecano from an 80 plus player pick. So, that is pretty crazy. Let me know if you have actually managed uh, to do any of them. Who is the best player you got from them? Upa Meccano, I'm pretty sure on the market, is super expensive, so I can't complain at that. I am going to jump into the packs now, though. Hopefully, we can get lucky. I really hope we can get lucky from this week's rewards. Um, I'm just going to go ahead, and it's glitching out, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why it's saying that. Um, it's saying that I've got an item there, but I don't. Let me just jump into the... There we go, it's fixed now. So, come on, into the better packs now. These are the untradeable rivals rewards. First rare mega pack of the video. It isn't going to be a walkout. It's not even going to be a board again. Maybe there is going to be something nice in the pack here, but I don't think so because it wasn't a walkout. We're going to get ourselves at 82 as the highest rated. We get a hunter in there as well. We actually get two hunters in the same pack. And they are worth like 2 3k. It is an untradeable one, but they come in handy, of course, throughout the year. Just going to go ahead, store that to the club, into the next rare mega pack here. Hopefully, they can pay out. Rivals rewards don't usually pay out too well. We are going to get a walkout here. This is in the second one. Hopefully, it could be something nice. It's going to be German, centre mid. Is that Tony Cruz? Yeah, that's not bad at all. We get ourselves a 90 rated walkout. Oh, he's actually 88 rated. I thought he was 90 rated this FIFA. My bad. So, we got ourselves an 88 rated walkout. If there's anything else in here, that'll be nice. There isn't. But an 88 rated Cruz, he is worth like 40k on the market. Definitely will be useful for the James Tavernier SBC. In terms of walkouts, of course, it ain't the greatest walkout, but it definitely is a W in terms of what we're getting. Raul Garcia duplicate, I'm just going to go ahead and discard him. I'm not going to put them into SBCs every time because it just takes too long, to be honest. Into the next rare mega pack here, though. Hopefully, this one can pay out as well. We're not going to get back-to-back -back walkouts. I'm pretty sure that is a board, though. Yeah, it is going to be a board. Who is that? Is that Ilicic? No, it's not. It's Dubravka, actually. So, not bad. But again, for a mega pack, it ain't good at all. These rare mega packs are meant to be super overpowered as well. And the main reason is just because... Uh, you get so many items in the pack. We do actually get another two rares there. Should be submitting them into SBCs, but I can't really be bothered, to be honest. We get a Jumbo Gold Pack, though, in return from this pack, which I can't complain about. Are we going to get anything? It ain't going to be a walkout. Is it going to be a board? No, it isn't, but these Jumbo Gold Packs are pretty poor. I'm pretty sure you get three, yet three rares out of the whole pack, so you can't really expect much from that, to be honest. I'm just going to list these non-rares up, though, quickly. I'm pretty sure they've actually got a decent value at the minute due to the 80 plus rare picks a lot of people obviously want to complete them which makes all these non-rares go up in value by quite a bit just going to go ahead and sell the position modifier the hawk maybe backbone will sell as well so we'll just go ahead discard the rest there send that to the club and then we will jump in to the gold free rewards in a minute this is going to be the last rare mega pack of the video of course hopefully we can get something nice it's going to be another walkout here let's go so we get two walkouts from our rivals it's going to be poland goalkeeper it's going to be chesney i thought at first wow it's going to be Lewandowski, and that would have been an l because i've already got him untradeable so we have had two walkouts just alone from the rivals rewards which is very good to be fair and I think I've actually already got a Chesney. That's very surprising. Um, we got a Dest, uh, Matic. We've got quite a few decent players here. So not bad. I've actually already got him untradeable. That sucks, man. So I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to submit him into an SBC quickly. And then I will be right back. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to submit him quickly. It makes sense. So I'll be right back, guys. I am back again here, lads. So we can go ahead and complete the top form for the Tavernier SBC. 
Uh, I have gone ahead and submitted quite a few decent players. We have got the Shesney, of course, which I did just get from the pack. So we can go ahead and throw him in and complete it for a decent price. I've already got this PK, obviously, untradeable. Same with the Tony Cruz that I did just pack then. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this squad in, complete it quickly. And then, of course, we've completed the first one for the Tavernier SVC. This is obviously where the main price did come from in terms of the SBC. That's why it's so expensive because of the 85 rated squad. So hopefully the price is obviously going to drop massively for me now. And hopefully we can get something good from the remaining pack. So if you did go on to enjoy the video, that'd be much appreciated if you could go ahead and drop it a like. Thank you all so, so much for watching. It really does mean the world. Um, but we are going to get ourselves a few decent players in this pack. It's not a bad one, uh, of course, because we can list the silvers up and they actually do have quite a bit of value sometimes depending on certain SBCs that EA do release. So you can't really complain at that. Hopefully we can get something good from the gold free rewards. So we have obviously got the um, mega packs and then we've got the 50k pack to end the video. If we could get another walkout, that would be great. We have already had two walkouts in today's video, which is obviously decent. We are going to get ourselves no walkout in this pack though. This is the first mega pack from the uh, Weekend League rewards. We're not even going to get a board from this one. So we got ourselves a Lorente though, which I did actually just buy for the SBC. I'm pretty sure he's worth like 2k. So we'll throw him up. We've got a Richarlison as well. Maybe a little bit of value in him. Just, you're better off listing these items up, obviously, because so many SPCs are out at the minute with, like, the 80-plus player picks. All these non-rare cards literally have value because everyone wants them to go ahead and do as many player picks as they can do. The main reason is because they are so overpowered and many people are getting crazy, crazy cards. I've heard many people did them and have literally had nothing in return, but I know that they're quite overpowered because I've literally done three and I've got myself an Upamecano and a PK which obviously is very, very good. Uh, we get a manager in here, and we also get the Spurs kit. Maybe the Spurs kit sells, I'm not sure. We can jump into the next mega pack here, though, and then we've got the rare player pack to end the video. Hopefully, we can get someone good in one of these here. Is it going to be a walkout? It's not going to be a walkout from the second mega pack. This is, of course, from Gold 3. We're not even going to get a board again, so two mega packs, not even one board. That is very, very poor, I can't lie. In terms of a mega pack, you'd at least be expecting a board from it. Never mind a walkout, like maybe a walkout, but you'd at least expect a board. We are going to end the video, of course, so with the 50k pack, hopefully we can actually get lucky from this. It would be great. If we can end the video with a walkout, that'll be three uh, walkouts in one video, of course, which is decent. Not one amazing walkout, but we have packed a few decent cards. In terms of red picks, of course, they haven't been great, but with the team of the week that is currently out, you wouldn't really expect much from red picks anyway. So let me know down below if you did get lucky from your red player picks. I really hope you did, um, because mine weren't great. But we have obviously got a few more items here. Let's list the West Ham kit. Maybe it sells. Maybe the Bundesliga as well. That could sell. Uh, maybe the Ajax kit, because it looks quite nice. And then, yeah, pretty much that has been that for today's video. We're going to end it on the Rare Players Pack. Hopefully, we can end with a bang, with a walkout. But if you did enjoy, drop the video a like. That would be much appreciated. Also, hit the subscribe button. And, yeah, we're not going to get a walkout. That is such a shame, man. So, gold, free rewards that don't pay out. We actually get a Jekko from a 50k pack. I probably should have saved that for Team of the Year. But we are going to have more pack openings coming around Team of the Year. So, make sure you do stay tuned for that. But thank you all so, so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, drop it a like. If we can hit 30 likes, that will be great. Hit a subscribe button. We're on the way now to 6.5k subs. If we can get there soon, I'm going to have many more giveaways coming on my Instagram. So, yeah. Really hope you did enjoy, and that has been that. Peace out.